Hey everyone, as promised, we're going to go through a full playthrough of the Azul Automa named Emma. I will say this comes with Summer Pavilion, and this is where we're going to be, where we are going to be putting our broken tiles. Um, if you don't have this, I think the rulebook just says to put it in the game box lid. This will not teach you how to play all up front. I will explain things as I go, but if you want to know how to play, watch my how to play video. Currently, I only have the low ink version on BGG, so if you're looking for what you see here, it is not up on BGG currently. We are going to play on normal, so my scoring marker starts at 5, and Emma's scoring marker starts at 5. I've gone ahead and shuffled the decision deck. We've placed a tile to represent round 1, and I filled the factory displays with 4 tiles each. So looking here... I like the teal and white pieces because Emma's first card requires two of them. And if I can go ahead and get those, I'll go ahead and fill them on my five row. So let's go ahead and start taking some. So we're going to take these, pushing the ones we didn't take to the center. I'll go ahead and place them here. All right, for Emma's turn. She wants factory display one, and she wants red if there's any red. So she wants red from this factory display. There are none. So she will then take blue and push the other ones to the center of the table. Looking at her board, she'll go ahead and place the first one on the blue spot. Always trying to fill up the mural card and slot one first. There are no more blues, but there are two wilds. So she'll go ahead and place one here. And now it's back to us. Let's continue our attempt at getting all five teals. Place that here. Back to Emma. She wants factory display five and she wants blue if there's any available. Factory display five is right here and there is a blue. So she'll take that and push all these to the center. There is another wild, so we'll go ahead and place the blue on the wild. And now I'm going to actually take from the center. I'm going to take the first player marker, which means I'll still go first next turn, and I will take these two teals. So the first player will go in my negative one slot. These will go here, and we'll go back to Emma. Emma wants factory display five. There are no tiles here, so you'll follow the arrow until you hit a factory display at the center of the table. So go to the left, so four, and I'll go to three. And she wants white or teal. She'll go ahead and place this on this card. So this is one of those decisions I need to make that I really don't want her getting all these blacks because there are no blacks that can go on this card, none on this one. Only two can get filled between these two cards. That means one will go here, one will go here, and three will go on her masterpiece. With that said, though, if she takes the yellow, then she's going to be filling up all three of these cards. Um, and if I take the black, then uh, I will be taking a negative point because I've already filled up my five slot. I'm going to take a chance here, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the yellow because I have teals that are going to go here. And if I take the three yellows, then they can go here, and maybe I can work on completing this column. So I will take the three yellows. Come on, Emma, don't take black. So Emma, of course, she wants factory display one. There's nothing here, and there's nothing on any of them, so we'll just follow this all the way around to the center, and wouldn't you know it, she wants first priority to be black. So she will take all five of these. It's <sighs> rough. Looking at her board, she'll place one on this wild, one on this wild, and now we have to place three on her masterpiece. So let's place one here, here, and here. At the end of the game, she's going to get plus five points for each completed row and each completed column. Looking at my board, I'm going to go ahead and take the two blue so that I can start working right here. And at this point, you can flip over a card from her decision deck, but there's only one that's there. So she's going to take that one no matter what and then she will simply place it here. So not bad. She didn't score any victory points this first round, so we're off to a good start, but she did place three tiles on her masterpiece, so I don't know if that's too great. Looking at my board, I will move this one over, place these in the broken tile area. These will stay, and that will score me one point. 
this will move over, giving me a point. And then this will go back to the center of the table, and I will get negative one point, but I do get first choice at the start of the next round. So to prepare for the next round, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck, place one tile from the bag at random on the two slot, and then go ahead and fill up the factory displays. All right, so we are ready to go. So I definitely want to complete this row. So I need two blue, so I will go ahead and take this display, taking these two blue and placing them on my board. Emma will go to factory display five and look for white and teal first. And there are there is one there, so she'll take put those in the center and take this one. And she will go ahead and fill up this one. So she is one yellow away from getting 18 points. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two reds in the middle, and that will give me a negative point for taking the first play, player marker. And I will place those here so that I can work on this column. And then Emma wants factory display three. So one, two, three. There are no white and teal, so she will take all the blacks. So two more blacks. So once again, she will try to put these on her murals first, but there are no blacks or wilds left. So she will place one here, and then I have to determine where I want to put this. This can go on any of these uh, wild spaces. So I will go... <sighs> Let's go here. So her getting black is not great going forward. <sighs> Another tough decision I have. These three yellows are going to really help her. But I can't take the three yellows here. And if I place them here, this doesn't really help me. I don't really want the yellows. I could place it here, but I'm going to get two negative points or three negative points. So let's go ahead and go for the, the, the teal. And we're going to place them here. And we'll go back to Emma's turn. So she wants factory display four. There are tiles there. She wants yellow first. There are none there, so she'll take the red and push all the other ones to the center. Looking at the murals, there are no red spaces or wild spaces here or here, so she will go here. Uh, I'm going to take the teal. This might come back to hurt me. All right, so Emma will go. She wants to go to the center, and she wants to take the color in the center with the most tiles. Well, all three of them have three tiles. So three blacks, two, three blues, three yellows. So she'll break the tie by this prioritization, so she'll take the blue ones. So she's taken, she took the three blues, one will go here, and there's no more spots, so now two more will go on her masterpiece. So we'll go here and here. Trying to spread it around, make sure she doesn't have too many columns or rows that are getting completed. So at this point, I think I have to take the three yellows. If I don't, she's going to fill up three cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take the three yellows. And I'm just going to go here. Because I don't want the negative points. Maybe I can work on filling all the yellows and get the additional 10 points at the end of the game. So once again, there's only one choice for Emma. So we can flip a card. But we know she's going to take the black ones. And she's going to put them all in these wild spaces because there's no spots on her murals. So she is just killing me with her masterpiece this game. All right, that is the end of the round. So we'll go ahead and score. So we'll place this one here to get two points. Place this one back in the box. This one will here will get one point. This one here will get one, two, three, four. That's a good one. And then these will stay. And then I'll put this back in the center and get negative a point but I, I retain first player. So I'll go ahead and set up for round three and I'll see you back here in a second. So I will not claim to be good at this game. I, when I designed the Automa, I took over 400 scores off BGG and I averaged them. Uh, the scores were for two player games and I averaged the scores uh, to, to be broken into three categories. So that is how the easy, medium, and hard difficulties are determined. So I probably should be playing on easy, but there's been so many games where I've only been like three points off from the normal and I really want to beat Emma on normal. I have beat her on normal, but it's not the usual. So I will go ahead and take these two yellows because I don't want Emma to get them. 
and I will place them on my board. Emma will go. She'll go to factory display three and look for white. There are none here, so she'll go to factory display four, and there's only one color here, but she'll, she would go down the list and red, so she'll take all four of those reds. So there's no reds on these, so she'll go here. And then she will start working on her masterpiece. She is crushing me on this. But as long as I keep her score low, not letting her complete cards, then the most that this can score is 50 points. So there's a give and take here. So far, she hasn't completed any columns or rows, so we're still good. All right, so I'm going to continue this trend of not letting her get yellow. So I'm going to take these two yellows, put them to the center of the board. I'm going to place them here. She will go. She wants factory display four. There's nothing there, so she'll go to five based off this arrow. There's nothing there, so she'll go to the center. So she's looking for yellow. There are none. So then she'll take the red one as well as the first player marker. So she'll put her first player marker next to her board. She'll get minus one point, and then she'll put the red here because there are no spaces on the murals for red. I will go ahead and take these two teal, pushing these to the center, and I'm going to play this here. Maybe I can fill up yellow and teal and get an extra 20 points. Emma is going to look to the center and take the, uh, the color with the most tiles, which is going to be blue. So she will fill up this blue, this blue, and the last wild spot right here. She's filled up a row, so she'll get five points for that. And so this is important now because any future black, red, or blue tile she gets are just going to be wasted for her. I mean, that could change if more murals get on the board, if I allow her to complete more murals. But I want to try to get a lot. I'm going to try to make her take those three colors right now so that she just throws them to the, the, ba uh, the box lid and she doesn't get to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two blue or teal and I'm going to put them on my board. And we'll go back to Emma. She'll go back to the center and take the most tiles, which are black. Looking at her board, she has no spots for them on her murals, and she has no spots for them on her masterpiece. So these are wasted and just get put to the broken tile area, but she does not get negative points. I am going to take this yellow so that she cannot get that, and then we'll flip over a card for her, but we know that she's going to take the blue one. And once again, this is wasted. End of round scoring. I'll, get, I'll move this here and get one point. I'll move this here and get one, two points. I'll move this here and get another two points. And I'll move this here and get one point. I'll move this back to the center. Emma will be the first player this round and I'll go ahead and refresh the game board. All right, we are ready for round four of five. Emma is the first player, so she gets to go first. So we'll flip over top card of her deck. So this is a good example. Uh, she wants the to go to the center and take the uh, most number of tiles. But if there's only the first player marker in the center, then she will move to the left, going to factory display one. And then she will go based off this priority. So she wants blue. So this was great. We didn't have to place blue down. So these are wasted tiles. I want to try to complete yellow. This will give me my fifth yellow as well as stop her from getting them. So I will take these two. Emma will go. She wants factory display one. And then she wants black. So factory display one, she'll move to the right and then she will take all the blacks. Thankfully, these are all wasted. I will go ahead and take these two yellows over here to fill up my yellow row, uh, four row. She wants factory display three and she wants to take white. And looking at her board, she will place this right here. So I do not want her to take that other white. I don't want her to take the yellow either. I would love for her to take the red and the black. But I also need to start working on white and teal. So I'm going to take that. 
add the first player and I'll place this here. For Emma's turn, she wants factory display five. There are none in here, so she'll immediately go to the center. She wants blue, there are none. So then she'll take the yellow. So she'll take these two. She'll place one here and one here. So there are multiple cards that have, have been completed on a turn. So let's resolve them one at a time from left then to right. So this one, we will take all of the tiles, put them in the broken tile area, and she will score 18 points. And I'll go ahead and remove this from the game. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. This one, when completed, she's going to draw a tile from the bag and place it on her masterpiece. Doing this without looking. She gets a red. Great. That's wasted. And then she is going to take a tile from this card and put it on her masterpiece. This is a great example. The blue, I would love to pick the blue because it's a wasted piece. But if there is one that can go on here, then you have to pick that one. So I cannot pick the blue. I'll put the blue back into the box. And now this one has to go on her masterpiece. So I will pick, if I go here, it completes this row. If I go here, uh, this column, if I go here, it completes this row. So no matter where I go, it's going to complete something. So let's... Let's complete this one. All right, and then she's going to score an additional four points. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll go ahead and slide these down. And we'll reveal two more. I don't want her getting all those reds because now she has some cards to put them on. And I have spots for those reds. So I will go ahead and take those. Place them on my board. I have one too many, so that will go here. And then once again, we can flip a card, but we know she's going to take the only one left. So she will try to put these here. She now has this wild spot right here, so she'll go there. And then I'll go ahead and score. So this one will move over for one. This one will move over for one, two, three. These will go back to the box lid. This will move over for two. And then I will get minus two points. So looking at my strategy, might not be a very good one. I need to get a black to complete this column. I need to get a blue to complete five blues. And maybe I get a blue here to score six. That's a six pointer. If I put one here, it's one, two, three, four, five. That's another six pointer, but it takes less to get on this row. It would take five blacks, and I already need a black there. So I really just I need to make sure I get a black and a T and two teals, and then we'll go from there. So we'll go ahead and reset the player area. You will run out of tiles in prepping for round five, and when you do that, just take your broken tiles and put them back in the bag. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get blue first because that's going to give me 10 points, and there's lots of black out there. So let's take this one and take this blue, place this here. Emma will go. She wants to go to the center and take the most tiles, so she'll take the blues, and since the first player marker is here, she'll take that and get minus one point. There are no spots for blues on her murals or her masterpiece, so these are wasted. Perfect. I will go ahead and take another teal. Emma? Oh, no. Emma's going to go to factory display four and pick up the oranges or yellows, whatever color that is that she needs. So put these to the center and take these two. And she is going to complete both of these cards. Ugh. All right, so let's go ahead and resolve this one first. So we need to draw a tile from the bag at random and place it on our masterpiece. Not, not a blue or white. Oh, gosh. All right, let's put this one here. All right, then I have to take a tile from this card and place it on our masterpiece. Well, I can't place the red. I can't place the black. So I have to place the yellow. Let's push it here. 
She's going to score seven points. So five, six, seven. This card now resolves, so we'll put these back to the broken tile area. She's just going to score 11 points, so 5, 10, 11. We're going to go ahead and slide these down and refill. All right, so I have my blues. I have, and I don't have my black. I need my black. I won't be able to fill this up because there's not three blues out there. And I don't want her to get red because then she'll fill up another card. So I think... I think I, ha I still have time to get the black, so I'm going to take these two reds, and I'm going to place them here. All right, Emma. <laughs> Look at her going for red. Uh, she always knows. Uh, she goes factory display two. There's nothing there, so she'll f go to the right until she hits factory display five, and she'll get the red and move these to the center. So she will complete this. We will draw a tile from the bag, not yellow or teal, or blue. Okay, perfect. This will go to the box. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. That will go to the box, and then we have to take one of these tiles and put them on our masterpiece, but neither of these can go on them, so she will just score three points. So she's at 46, and we'll go ahead and slide our murals down and refill. All right, so I have to take this black to get another seven points. But by doing so, it's going to give me three broken tiles. It's, it's still going to be worth it, though. So we're going to place a black here, and these will go here. Emma. Factory display five, but from here on out, she's just going to pull from the center. She wants white. So that will go here. Is there anything I can complete? Yes, red. So let's take the red. And we'll place that here. And then we're going to go ahead and flip for Emma. So she wants yellow. She'll take these three yellows. And now it doesn't hurt us. She will not be able to fill up another card. And then I'll take the two blue and just place them in this row so that I don't get negative points. All right, let's do the last round scoring. So this one will move over, and it'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one will move over, just get me one. This one will move over and get me one, two, three, four. These don't move over. I have three blacks in my penalty area so that's two three negative four points so one two three four and then let's go to final scoring all right so i have a completed column so that's seven points so one two three i have two completed colors so that's 20 points So my final score was 57. This is going to be close. Looking at her masterpiece, she has one completed column, two completed columns, and rows, she has one. So she gets an additional 15 points. So one, two, three, four, five. <sighs> so close. So the final score was Emma 61, me 57. I did a good job of controlling her, keeping her score down low. I just, God, I didn't have a lot of tiles that got me, that chained a lot of points. So like I didn't put one here that got me, hey, three or four vertically and then four horizontally. I did great on filling two, two colors, but not good enough. So that was a full game of the Azul Anima on normal. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on my BGG Geek List, the YouTube channel, or on the actual Anima that is on BGG, the low ink version. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, games are really fast and quick, and it, just, I, it always leaves me with wanting to play one more. So with that, good luck if you play against her, and I wish you the best.